All right, toy haul time once again, March 26, 2018. Uh, picked up a small mini haul, uh, some Star Wars items that have gone on clearance here in Manila. It's just a, a clearance haul. Before we begin, uh, Shuffler, another clearance haul. Uh, right now, these things have gone on 50%. Markdown, Titan's Return, Titan Master figures, Titan's Return Legends figures, robots in disguise, Legion figures are all on 50% off. It was originally at eight dollars now it's four dollars i had this one before i know i did review sold it i decided i want to get it again <clears throat> because it's just so cool and they have the cartoony version yep no brain okay uh on to the star wars items this one was on clearance as well 50 percent off at kramer toy warden the Jin urso forces of destiny figure very nice um it was it, it it went for fourteen dollars right now at Kramer and I think if you can still see this if you're in Manila and you still if, if you can still find this at Toy Kingdom or Toys R Us they're at eight dollars so I could I found a couple of Toys R Us but I wasn't happy with the with the way the hair was packed I mean some were just disheveled and all that uh, Kramer I, I found one that really nice hair for the doll and uh, for the figure action figure uh, I decided to pick it up <clears throat> okay uh, more forces of destiny uh, this one again at $14 originally this was I think it was like $40 then it went down to $20 now it's at $14 the uh, action figure with the droid uh, sort of deluxe set so I decided to pick it up. This one, first time I've seen it on shelves. Never seen it before. Um, and they have the same tag. It's $14. So I decided, you know, why not, right? You need a Luke. And I just saw the episode with Luke and Yoda, Forces of Destiny. It was pretty nice. Pretty funny. But nice, but um, so I decided to pick it up. So the only thing I'm missing for Forces of Destiny right now is the Jakku Jin, which there's a ton of them at my local... Um, the toy store department store where I live so I'm not gonna buy that immediately as well as the Endor uh, Leia with the Ewok that one I can wait I'm not really into it. that one's least priority but that Jin and that Leia I'm probably gonna get them next month we'll see how it goes I'm sure it's still gonna be there okay uh, uh, this one I already had one uh, but I sold it off to a buddy because I wanted to keep one that was mint in box I have no more room to display the vehicles and they just get dusty I don't know how to take care of them properly. No glass cabinets and all that. So I decided to pick up one again um, $14 not too bad. I didn't want to wait for it to go $10. So there Okay um, Never had this figure never tried it out didn't feel like paying Thirteen dollars for it, six hundred forty-nine pesos. About thirteen dollars. Such a small figure. Um, the others I could pay. I maybe mean, justified, but it was a very small figure. I decided to wait for it on clearance. Sure enough, it did go on clearance for six dollars. Six dollars, I think, was a fair price for this Yoda. Very, very good Yoda. Lacks articulation, obviously, but the detail on it. Uh, huh. Yeah, definitely cool Yoda. Um, <clears throat> This one, I already had it, I sold it, uh, but I decided, you know, for $6, you gotta get a Kylo Ren, right? <laughs> the Ray figures, I'm gonna wait for them to go on clearance, further clearance. They're also on, on $6, maybe if they go down to $4, maybe, maybe I might, uh, but the Kylo Ren, okay. All right, last couple things. Um, this one, I know you guys are probably wondering why do I still have it I did sell it it was going for $60 two years ago I bought it sold it for $30 to a buddy of mine who needed it last year this year it went down to to $30 $20 and as a final markdown no other store had it I went to this one particular Toys R Us store that I hardly go to uh, they had it for $10 
they found it at their storage room and whatever. They were putting out all the last Jedi vehicles. They were all 50% off. They found one. They said, I said, how much was it? I, they said, oh, okay, it's gone on clearance again. You know, further markdown, further reduction. It says, how much? Is it $20? Nope, it's $10. So I said, what? And I had to make sure that it had those straight um, uh, cannons. So, yeah, I, I checked it out first. And... Um, and uh, let me just crack this open and show you guys how it is. But for $10, um, even with the uh, uh, bent can, I'd probably even take it. Okay, well, hold on. All right, so this is what it looked like when I opened it up in the store. And the cannons look pretty straight, pretty good. I don't have to do that boiling water, ice water technique. Um, it, it's pretty good. And I was just very happy, and was gonna, they were selling for ten dollars at Toys R Us. Very nice. So if you're, if if right now at this point in time, if you're looking, if you find one at Toy Kingdom or Toys R Us, they are at ten dollars. So from sixty dollars to ten dollars, it was ridiculous. I was gonna, I'm gonna keep this one mint in box. Not mint in box. Yeah, mint in box, but. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't have space anymore to to put this, um, and it'll just get dusty anyway. So I'll probably let my kids assemble it later on when they're when they're bigger. But it did come with a very nicely painted Poe Dameron, but I wasn't very satisfied with this figure. It was okay. Um, the, the red orangey color on him was a little bit off. The helmet's a little bit off. A face sculpt, head sculpt is, is okay. Um, so, that same store, I did find another Poe Dameron. This one from The Last Jedi. I think this is a more accurate version of Poe Dameron. And it was at 50% off. Uh, from $13, it was going for $6. Oh, 55% off. Um, yeah, I decided to pick it up. I will probably swap them out. Maybe pass this on to a buddy who needs a Poe Dameron anyway. Um, but I will put this one, open it up, and replace, swap them out, and keep it in box. That's probably how I'm going to display it. Okay, so let's put this one out of the way. Last thing I picked up, it's a Star Wars haul. It's not a clearance haul. It is a Funko Pop haul from the E... What do you call it? E -E 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 -C -C. Oh, ECCC. Sorry. Uh, Emerald City Comic-Con uh, this one I picked up at uh, Spotlight Collectibles they have a small um, cabinet on consignment at the Mother Base store in um, Green Hills Shopsville if you haven't been there they have two cabinets dedicated for Spotlight Collectibles Pops uh, big thanks uh, to Drew and Carmina for this one uh, it, the box was in pristine condition price wasn't so bad it's a little bit pricey but everybody the, the Padme Amidala everybody was grabbing this particular one right out here in Manila these are going for 30 to 40 dollars ridiculous people are collecting it um, I saw one that was on sale for less than 30 dollars because the box was dinged uh, had a big crease right here I passed on it good thing I found this one at Spotlight thank you thank you very much Spotlight Collectibles and it came with a free pop collector uh, pop protector box uh, so that's pretty cool. So there you go, folks. That is my little uh, toy haul for this Easter week. And hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, thanks for watching. And here are a couple more things I picked up over the weekend that were on all on clearance. I forgot to mention in the video. So here is another Forces of Destiny action figure. This time, Ray of Jakku. Uh, they were going for eight dollars or initially they were going for like 30 now they're eight and then these two I still have one of these but I wanted one I wanted my Obi-Wan mint on card so I went ahead and get an, got another one this one I had sold my um, both versions of my uh, island island journey Ray uh, figure so I decided to pick up another one to keep it mint on card $13 initially, now they are at $6. So pretty cool, not too bad, not too bad. So there you go folks, thanks for watching.